All right, so we got Delta Force official PC Global Open Beta Cinematic Trailer. Let's get to videos about it. All right, here we go. My father once told me, a wise hunter knows how to respect his praise because they die in fear. Hey. Fear. It made the people of Asaran suffer from a catastrophic disaster. Havik. Those damned souls made us kill each other. Turned our homeland into a war zone. Oh, snap. Transformed our elite hunters into mere lambs. Oh, Yo! Slaughtered. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here's your G's. That aim is absolutely garbage, bro. Alright, here we go. Uh oh, he's on a hunt. Oh no, he thinks he's him. My father said. The moment the uh -oh. shows its fear. Oh, it's GG's. For the hunter to strike. Oh, and he made it out. Said. Uh oh. Will be the last vision that you ever have in your life. Yo, who is this guy? Mom, obviously, these bug people they the news he never shows you see for a picture. Kami. Dang, she got a built in uh built in Bluetooth uh you? ear <laughs> earpiece device. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this get all right all right real quick my bad i don't really mean to pause like that but this game actually does have a story because i was actually thinking i'm like okay well this game does have like the like the uh like the missions and stuff like that does this game have a story and uh turns out we actually got one okay that's nice i like that i those innocent people what if they turn home So where do you see those armed forces come from? Why does she sound like that? From those people themselves. We, Kami. The seeds of ignorance are deeply rooted in them, bearing the fruits of guilt. Yo, is she like the female macro? Havik wants to use the power of technology to bring the whole world into a better future with some kind of Yo, she's culture. literally... She is literally the female Makarov. That's crazy. G T I. Is that gas? Continues the mission of Delta Force. My father used to be a D boy. What's a D boy? What's that? But he didn't make it to the end. Oh man. Rest in peace, man. So I followed his steps. And here I am. Uh oh, okay. Oh yeah, they're advanced. They're advanced. They got drones and everything. Oh yeah, it's GG's. We fear no battle. Diamond Hotel, target spotted. Stay sharp. Nor do we spare any foe. Target locked. Is that a crossbow? Do we, bro, do actual people use like crossbows and like missions and stuff like that in real life? There's Perhaps no shot. There's no each way. Each man steps onto the battlefield for a different reason. But there is only one goal. Okay. What? Finish the mission or something like that? Is that the goal? And they launching stuff and everything. Okay. All right, man. We got Delta Force for the PC. Uh, strapping for PC Global Open Beta December 5th. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually pretty nice. All right. So, listen. Now we got... Um, this trailer actually answered, like, a few questions um, that I've had before in, like, the previous trailers that, uh, that I've reacted to. So, we do have a storyline. We do have, like, a... Uh, we do have, like, a campaign type of um, thing going on because, like I said before, at first... I thought this was just like, you know, you queue into the game, 
uh, and then you queue up with like random people, or you just queue in with like your own party, or whatever, and you just go into like different missions and stuff. That's what I thought at first, but it actually turns out, you know, we actually have like an actual campaign with an actual story. We got like a few different villains along the campaign. Obviously, if you if you guys don't know, it's kind of like um, Call of Duty's campaign. How uh, Call of Duty's campaign would have like you know like a few. They will have like the main villain. And then they'll have like a few like villains that they you know that um that the main protagonist or the, like the main characters or whatever uh take out and then you get to like the final boss which is like the you know main villain or whatever. Um I would say like I did feel like um I don't know, I, I definitely felt a little Call of Duty ish campaign wise, but to be honest with you, it, it is different. Like I'm not gonna sit here and say that this game is a complete just Call of Duty campaign. No, it, it's different. I can definitely tell that it's different. Um we do have, like, different style of characters, a uh, different style of, like, um, uh, bad guys or whatever you guys want to call them, or antagonists or villains. I'm going to call them villains. We do have a uh, different style of, like, villains and stuff like that. Uh, we got this menace right here. He's, I, I'm guessing he's, like, like a like a hunter type or whatever. Uh, so we got him. Uh, we also have the female Makarov. She had, bro, she legit has the suit and the vest like Makarov. Like, bro, if that's not a female Makarov, I don't know what that is. She got some type of, uh, like, Beyonce, Justin Bieber, uh, Jay-Z performance, like, little headset thing connected to her head like this. I don't know if that was, like, surgery-wise or whatever, but, bro, like, I don't And, bro, her voice sounds like she smokes two blunts a day. That, that's just, that's, that's critical. Uh, and then we have, so we have, so we have this, we have the female, uh, we got the female Makarov. We got, uh, this nuisance right here. And I believe we have, like, one more, right? I'm pretty sure there's, like, other villains as well. But I'm pretty sure we got, like, we, like we have more villains and stuff like that, man. But, yeah, man, comment down below, man. What do y'all think about this? Uh, it's definitely different from, like, the, you know, typical Call of Duty campaign and stuff like that. I know a lot of people are going to be comparing uh, this game, uh, especially, like, the like the, um, like the the multiplayer campaign to, you know, Call of Duty. Because if I'm being honest with you, bro, like, Call of Duty is, like, I mean, technically, like, I'm just being technical right now. Technically, uh, whenever it comes to, like, this uh, style of, like, you know, FPS uh, game to where, like, you know, you're in, like, the uh, Army or Marines or whatever, whenever it comes to, like, that style of, like, FPS or whatever, Call of Duty, they usually reign supreme, you know, in that area. So, um, I don't want to say it looks like we got competition, but let's just say, I mean, so far, you know, what I've seen, we have something that's a little different. So, if you want to try something that's a little different and you don't want to, like, uh, buy Call of Duty or whatever... You can definitely try Delta Force coming out for the PC. Um, it's an open beta at uh, December 5th. Hopefully, I remember that right. Um, other than that, man, comment down below. We actually think about this, man. And um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, yeah, cool. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I did see like a little a little bit of similarities to Call of Duty, but that's just natural, though. I mean, I, I, and I think the reason I'm saying that is because Call of Duty was the main example of, like, Call of Duty was my main FPS growing up. So, like, I played this game over and over again. I mean, it was everybody's main FPS growing up. You know, who didn't play Call of Duty? Um, and you really didn't see any other games, you know, try to rival Call of Duty in a way of, like, in, in like, the army slash marine, uh, like, slash, like, uh, like type of FPS. You really didn't see anybody step up to the play. It was, it was just Call of Duty for, bro, 15 plus years. Um, you know, 20 plus. You know, Call of Duty came out early 2000s. I think, yeah, it was 20 plus years, so... If I'm being honest with you, bro, I mean, it, I mean, maybe, like, people had a chance whenever, like, Call of Duty 2 came out back then, like, the early 2000s. But if I'm being completely honest with you, bro, Call of Duty now, I don't, I don't really think anybody could, like, you know, take over Call of Duty. I know all these, you, you have different type of content creators and, and streamers. Um, everybody has, like, their own, like, opinion about it. But the thing is, you can never take Call of Duty now. Um, they're just too established. They're just too big. Um, and, and to be honest with you, they're in, they are in their own lane, you know, so you can't really, you know, take over them. I've seen like a lot of people try to label games as like Call of Duty killers. Um, yeah, you can't, you can't kill Call of Duty at all. Uh, because at the end of the day, no matter how much we rage at that game, no matter how much that game pisses us off, uh, we're still going to play that game. It's just like NBA 2K. <laughs> it's just like NBA 2K, bro. No other game can, you know, like NBA Live, that was a thing to where, like, a lot of people was like, oh, yo, NBA Live might take over. No, it didn't. I mean, bro, NBA 2K is just too undefeated. Um, now, yes, we do, uh, like, let, let's just say a lot of people aren't interested in 2K as they was 10 years ago. Um, and, and, but that's just, like, that's just 2K, you know, and that's just 2K in their side of what they do or whatever. But other than that, man, comment down below. 
What do you guys think about this, man? Comes out for the uh, the open beta comes out uh, December fifth. Make sure you guys go uh, go pick that up in December. Other than that, man, bro, we're actually two months from December. No, 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 no. We're we're technically like a month and some change from like December. That's crazy. Make sure you guys like the subscribe channel if you guys are new and.